In the spring of last year, the women's division of WWE was met with an awoken sleeping dragon. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, stood tall week after week, winning the Money in the Bank contract last May and cashing it in successfully at SummerSlam. Asuka went on to hold the gold for 151 days, that was until Shotzi was able to keep down the Empress for a count of three at Survivor Series. As talented as Shotzi is, it is now looked upon as a simple bump in the road as Asuka corrected that failure and regained the Women's Championship on January 1st at the Royal Rumble. Tack on another 56 days and Asuka has stood atop the women's division for a total of 206 days over the last year. Bianca Belair, Casey Catanzaro, Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan, Tegan Knox, Shotzi, just some of the names that have been defeated by the dominating champion. But now, a new challenger arises. The man, Becky Lynch, made her return January 16th on Raw, qualifying for the Elimination Chamber match and going on to be the last woman standing inside that demonic structure. Becky has not only been to the top of the mountain before, but she has main evented on the biggest stage. Now, she finds herself back under the bright lights of WrestleMania, only with a near indestructible force opposing her. Can Becky Lynch make lightning strike again? Can she walk into the biggest show of the year and take down the Empress? A spot as the queen of the women's division is on the line. Asuka has been dominant for the better part of a year, but has she met her kryptonite? Becky Lynch looks to create another WrestleMania moment, but Asuka looks to continue to build upon her legacy. Who will leave as the WWE Women's Champion? The answer awaits us.